In the last video, I've introduced the types, materials, and the cable containment connectors. And you can check out the video in the link above. As promised, in this video, I will talk and explain about the cable containment accessories, supplementary parts to complete and perfect the installation of cable containment. First of all, you will need to know what are the parts used to hold the containment on the ceiling. And these are the metal parts that an electrical engineer need to know. The very few basic metal parts that are required are such as the C-channel, the anchor bolts, threaded metal rod, the nuts and bolts, as well as the shrutting, the shruts. So there are several types of shruts used in order to hold the cable containment in place. So the shruts can be in several types. For instance, it would be like the angle iron, the C shruts, or the uni shrut, or even cantilevers. It is very important for you to know the method of installation and get the method installation approved by your client or your consultant before proceeding the works. Next to introduce you is the end plate. End plate is usually fixated at the end of the cable tray where there are no longer cable route to connect along that way. So basically it's saying this is the end of the rope and no more trespassing across this point. Next to introduce you is the cable containment covers. Cable containment covers are usually used in order to safeguard the cables and insulation against falling objects. So it serves as a protection to them and it is not always required in most projects. However, it is more commonly seen when it's outdoors or very prone to falling objects. Earth links. In the event where your cable containment is required to serve as a protective conductor and requires earthing, earth links are used to connect in between the pieces of cable containment. You can either use copper links, cable earth links, or even braided earth links, depending on the specification required. For more information on knowing when your cable containment needed to be earth or not, I will drop a link down in the description below and you can check it out on the conditions required for cable containment earthing. The next accessory I'd like to introduce is the splice plates. Splice plates are usually used to hold two cable containments together, either vertically or horizontally. And it provides a lot more flexibility, especially when it comes to the bending, the degree of freedom of the cable containment connection. So a few examples here are like the vertical splice plate, the horizontal splice plate, as well as the rigid straight splice plates. Moving on, the next accessory are the hold down clamps. Hold down clamps ensure the cable containment is secure and tightly locked to the shruts. So usually after the cable containment is placed on top of the shruts and correctly aligned, we would use the hold down clamps to lock it in the position so that it doesn't move from its original position from vibration or from external force. Lastly, not forgetting to introduce the cable containment that runs under the floor, which is called the underfloor trunking. Underfloor trunking itself is a whole new topic and is a big topic as well and I will not include it in this video. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to know about underfloor trunking. If you find this information useful, feel free to subscribe to my channel and that would mean a great support to me. You can also check out the part 1 of the video about cable containment types and materials and I'll drop a link here and you can check it out. Until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!